Now, the threat of foot and mouth disease is far from over, as you know, and while it's the federal government's job to keep it out of the country, the states aren't taking any chances. New South Wales is spending more than $100 million on mitigation strategies and developing new foot and mouth vaccines. Joining me is the New South Wales Agriculture Minister, Dougal Saunders. Thanks for... Uh, joining us again, uh, Dougal, uh, uh, I'm surprised that, you, that you're thinking state governments have to spend so much money on this area. Uh, do you not trust the federal government to keep this disease off our shores? Well, look, it's a bit of everything, Chris, I think. And, and uh, I'm currently at Dubbo's Taronga Western Plain Zoo. That's the lake you can see in the background. And we've just today had uh, the first ever biosecurity conference in this part of the world, west of the mountains, and had a brown... 120, 130 different delegates from different industry talking about what we need to do as far as preparedness goes. And we know we've got learnings from the recent floods, but also fires and, and recent droughts to know that you need to try and get ahead of the game. That's what today's conference has been all about. Uh, and the money we're tipping into things like mRNA vaccines, um, preparedness with sheep and goat, uh, electronic identification and training of people is all about making sure that we as a state are on the front foot Yet we need federal support. We absolutely are calling for federal support. Um, but we also need to do our bit as a state as well. Yeah, obviously all that training and preparation will be crucial if the disease does arrive on our shores. But tell us about vaccines. If there are no vaccines available at the moment, then surely uh, if Australia were to be involved in developing a vaccine, it's not just going to protect us, but it's going to be, a, uh, you know, be an economic boost. Yeah, absolutely. Look, there, there are vaccines currently, and in fact, we've we've uh, passed over a million of those vaccines from the federal government to Indonesia to start the program of vaccinating in that country. Um, but but if you vaccinate, you essentially bring the virus to a country. So we're certainly not talking about doing that in Australia. But mRNA means that the synthetic version of it means you're not, um, you know, you have a distinct um, advantage of, of saying you can show what animal does have foot and mouth and what animal doesn't, or lumpy skin disease or whatever we might be talking about. So the synthetic way is the way forward. That will take some time to develop. We're pumping in uh, some money right now, almost $6 million, to help with that development. We're working with MIT in Boston, also with a Canadian company that's been in this space now for a while. So it's not trying to reinvent the wheel. It's about trying to find our way and fit into their space. We've got the experts at the Elizabeth MacArthur Ag Institute that are doing that work. Also working on PCR tests for in-field testing, which again will change the equation around how quickly we can identify and therefore act on things like foot and mouth or lumpy skin. So all of those things have a role to play. All do take time. But if you don't start somewhere, Chris, you're always going to be behind the eight ball. So today, we start. Great stuff. Thanks for joining us, Dougal. Good on you, Chris. Nice to talk to you. Dougal Saunders, who's the New South Wales Agriculture Minister. Uh, agricultural industries right across this country, of course, uh, worried about foot and mouth. Let's hope we can keep it out.